Hey everybody, welcome to Open House for Southern Guilford for this 2021-2022 school year. I am Mr. Bartlett. Uh, I will be either your or your, your child's AP Biology teacher for this school year. AP Biology is a two-semester course, so we're going to be in here together all year long. Uh, you will see it listed on your schedule as two separate classes. Uh, don't worry about that. It's because of the way they have to put it in the computer. But half of it is listed as the lab and half of it is listed as the course. Uh, we will have to make a decision in the next couple, couple of weeks about if we're taking a grade for the lab portion or if we're going to take it as pass fail. And we'll have some discussions about how it affects GPA and things like that because it is just a... Um, it's a standard credit class, so it doesn't go in like AP courses do. Um, as you should know, AP or Advanced Placement Biology is a college level course, so the material will be challenging. Um, we'll have uh, hopefully a lot of labs um, and fingers crossed that we stay face to face the entire time this year and, and have the opportunity to do those uh, in real settings and not virtual settings. Uh, but we are looking forward to this year. Uh, having a great time learning a lot uh, and moving towards our AP exam, which is going to be May the 11th, 2022 at noon. That's a Wednesday. So that's our end goal is being as prepared as we possibly can for that AP exam at the end of the year. So you can get some college credit and and move on and maybe not have to take this course uh, again when you get into college. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know here at Open House, one of the things that everybody's always concerned about is school supplies. So I want to go ahead and address that part. You will need two, well, really kind of three separate things. Um, number one, I'd like you to get a two inch binder. Um, I'm just afraid that a one inch or one and a half might fill up a little bit too much uh, because we are in here for a year long course. Um, I try to provide you with as much as I possibly can, but this big two inch binder should give us enough space to keep everything together for the course. Now, for the lab portion, I would like you to get a composition book. Now, this composition book is a little different style um, than you see with some of the older ones. Um, you may see some of the older ones. I'm trying to grab an example of one here that look a little more like this. These are fine as well. Um, the graph paper can be a little harder to work on, but they're much easier to graph with. Um, this kind is in no more notebook style paper, um, but has a little bit more... Uh, plasticky of a cover, but you'll see these are bound. We can't tear pages out of them, but we're going to be using composition books, one like one of these two, uh, for the lab portion of the course and lab reports and learning how to do that. It's just a part of taking a class. So we will work together. There are eight units set forth by uh, the college board that we will work together on and work our way through. It's kind of what we learned in biology, just deeper with a better understanding. Um, an understanding of how some of the science is done and understanding how to interpret results and, and get to where we get to that AP exam at the end of the year and we're ready to go with it. Um, that being said, the things that I would uh, need from you, first off, to get credit for being here at uh, our open house tonight, if you'll go into the links uh, posted in the description of this video, you'll find one for a student information sheet. Once I get that student information sheet, I'll know that you are here and I have current phone numbers, emails, uh, ways of contacting you and your parents. Um, parents, I would like something that is up to date. Also, just let me know which one you would really prefer as a way of me contacting you. Um, I always like to have open lines of communication. If you have any questions or any issues, I want you to be able to contact me uh, freely and not have any issues with that. Once we get into uh, fully into Canvas, you'll be able to see uh, my email address. Also, I have a Google Google Voice phone number, which is uh, it's kind of like a, a a phone number that will come to my phone without me actually giving out my real phone number to students, which is not approved. So it's an approved way of us being able to communicate with each other. And I can communicate via text and phone calls and emails and all those different ways. We try to keep it as open as possible so that you can get a hold of me and I can get a hold of you. And, and there's not any surprises at any point uh, during the year. The other things that are in the description below, we have a remind link. Uh, you can click the link that's in there or you can just go to insert the code that is written there. I believe it is SGAP bio 22, uh, if I remember correctly. And you'll just send that to the number 81010 on your cell phone and that will allow you to 
join the remind, which is just another way of me sending out group messages at once. The Google voice, I can kind of send out individuals, but the remind allows me to kind of send out blanket messages to everybody. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody. We've got a little bigger class this year than we had last year, and that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping to build this uh, higher level science courses uh, at Southern Guilford because we know that you guys can do this work and I'm prepared to, to lead you through this and hopefully ready to jump in both feet in that first week and get going and get us ready to, uh, to get all the way up to May. I know it seems like a long ways away, but we have to kind of hit the ground running in order to get all this information in and moving forward where we can get to that exam and have a lot of success. Once again, I'm Mr. Bartlett. I really look forward to meeting everyone. Uh, I'm also the school's athletic trainer. So if you play a sport, if your child plays a sport, if you see me at sporting events, come up, introduce yourself. I would love to meet everyone and be able to put faces with names. But make sure you go to that student information link to get credit for being here tonight. And uh, go ahead and join that remind. Shoot me an email or any kind of questions if you, if you have any. And I look forward to seeing everyone next week.